Hi guys, Sammy here, Blue Feather Homestead. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it is a beautiful, glorious day here in Oklahoma. That's why I'm filming outside. It is gorgeous. Um, anyway, I just wanted to talk about preparing, uh, being prepared. And anytime we're talking about being prepared, we need to talk about water. So let's talk. Okay, so, you know, yeah, we all kind of take for granted the instant, endless supply of tap water. You just go over to the sink, turn it on, get in your shower, turn it on, and it just goes on and on forever. You can have hot, cold, warm, whatever you want. Um, but what happens when that supply runs out? What if it runs out? What are you going to do? You know, what then? I mean, you can go to the store. We've all seen it happen. At the store, people go panic by. And, I mean, what's the first thing that goes is water. So it's always a good idea just to kind of have some stored back. Um, I do have a lot of really good containers to, you know, put water in. Um, I did a little bit of studying on it and uh, ran across this fella. Okay, so real quick here, I want to read to you what this fella says, okay? He says, okay, I'm a certified food safety professional with the National Environmental Health Association. I teach certification courses for chefs, employees of food production facilities and sanitation and hygiene, food safety, food allergies, cross-contamination, bacterial growth, and other related courses. I also perform the require required annual safety inspections of restaurants, food production facilities, water treatment plants, and other facilities for the Department of Health. Water does not expire. There is absolutely nothing in pure water that can go bad. Water contains only two things, oxygen and hydrogen. The only thing that can happen to water is for it to become contaminated with something else. As long as you are filling containers with a pre-treated water from a city water supply, there is no need for additional uh, added chemicals to the water to store long term. Actually by adding additional chemicals to the water that shortens the time that can be stored the water because those chemicals break down over time and have to be replaced every three to five years depending on which chemical composition that you are using for that particular brand that you have selected to use. As long as a container was sanitized with a small amount of diluted bleach or similar sanitizer and then rinsed out with potable water, not just cleaned out with soap and water before they are filled with potable water from a city supply water source and you do not touch the inside of the lid that will transfer bacteria from your hand to the inside of the water container and they are stored in dark cool dry location water can be stored indefinitely so anyway I just thought that was a fantastic fantastic article to read and um, because here I am thinking you know this water yeah I've, I've stored it in barrels and things like that we take it to the mountains when we camp out there and we've never added anything to it um, you know we just pour it in there and go with it now you know we're not out there that long so really for long-term storage i thought that possibly i would have to find some kind of a chemical to put in there or you know put bleach in it or whatever to um, keep it good over the years but he's saying that the water you know the public water supply is already um treated and, and you know it is it tastes like chlorine so it might not be the best taste in water but you know um if you're thirsty you're going to drink it and you'll be able to cook with it you know um, and things like that so let me show you what I've got so I have mentioned before in another video that we do have this um, best buy swimming pool that we had purchased probably three or four years ago and I don't know how much water it holds a lot <laughs> but anyway we could always use you know the water out of here to you know wash clothes and things like that if we needed to um, so there's one option Got some little girls out here playing. It's been so cold and it's just a beautiful day here. So they're digging in the dirt and we got one in the hammock. So in the intro, I did show a table full here of kind of the things that we have. Uh, this one, this taller one here is the one that we take in the mountains. He fills this up with water and we just kind of use it by gravity. It's got a nozzle here on it and he puts a hose on there and we kind of use it like that. We use it for our dishes hand washing and drinking stuff like that not always drinking I mean we have bottled water for drinking but anyway so that is just super handy and apparently what I need to do is really get this washed out with um, some kind of sanitizer or bleach rinse it out and then we'll fill it up with water and then these of course are just like two liter bottles of water I have a lot of these under my um, cabinet in the kitchen in the house um i have these stored and i have come home after running a ton of errands and my water was off and these were just fantastic to have because i'm like oh my gosh now how am i going to cook dinner without this water i mean we just take that water for granted sometimes at least i do okay we have this bottled water here you know of course this is very inexpensive 
um, you know, and that, that can store for a long time. I think that the only thing, the kids have already broke into my package here that's been sitting out here. The only thing is I think that these might tend to collapse after time. So just, you know, change those out, rotate them. I don't have a Berkey water filter, which I hear that those are fantastic to filter out any major yuckies. This is the only kind of filter that I have, and I've used these things forever, but this is just a Brita that I have, and I have another small pitcher too that I use. Um, this one here you can buy at the grocery store. We do have a Primo um, thing that this turns upside down, and you push it, and it'll give you cold water or hot water, but that is electric. So this is just a good container to hold, you know, to hold your water. This one has been stored in my shop. It didn't have a cover on there. Looks like there's some flies. I've got to get that cleaned out. But anyway, this is just some of the stuff that, um, you know, that I have here. Um, just the, the other day when I made that last video, I thought I've really got to get prepared here. If you guys know anything about um, that Berkey filter system, if it's any good, if you recommend it, I hear it's kind of pricey. I also heard of another one called Alexa Pure. Alexa Pure, I think is what it was called. And some say that, you know, that one's better. So if you guys have any recommendations, I sure would appreciate it. If you just put it in the comments for me, um, that'd be awesome. But so anyway, guys, that's my basic water storage. Here's my baby girl. Here's another one of my baby girls. Are you drinking that water or putting it in the dirt? in the dirt oh my gosh there's the other one guys i just wanted to explain something to you i do have a um, rain barrel that busted um over the winter time and i am going to get another rain barrel and we'll use that rain water for you know water in the animals and water in the garden and things like that if we need it which i did that anyway but if we need it i'll have it and then this here um we have I think we have about five or six of these containers, so I need to get them all washed out and filled up with water. These, I kind of have an endless supply. They just, I just use them, fill them right back up, and put them right back, I rotate them. The water bottles, I probably have about, you know, I'm, I sh probably shouldn't reveal, but I have a quite a bit stocked up here, and I suggest you do the same and just rotate it out. This here is um, just my water filter that um, you know is coming handy these here I have probably have a few of those I probably have about five and like I said you could just buy them at the, at the store I think Walmart sells them you can buy them at the grocery store or whatever and uh, they're you know super handy and they'll keep your water nice and clean as long as you have that cover this comes a, a thing that kind of flaps so when you turn it upside down and put it on your thingy it um, will poke that but then as soon as you take it off it'll cover back up well not mine not that one so anyway you guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope and pray that you guys stock up while you can. You never know what might happen. So I hope this video gave you some ideas on how you can store your water long term. Maybe give you some different options and ideas to look at. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.